if I would have been married, had a family, you know, things may have gone different. But God built me for this job. He rewarded me for 45, 50 years with the lifestyle that I am so thankful for. And, and, and it's unfortunate, the poor people in Granby, so many of them were so jealous of my lifestyle that I could come and go as I pleased. Well, God blessed me in advance for the task that I am about to undertake. It was sometime in 2001, I believe, that the peace, I, I mean, I wept at times trying to understand why this was happening to me. And to do what I had to do to make these people listen, to learn, was just above me. And when I realized that one day when I was sitting in the hot tub, and I mean I was, I was weeping, a peace came over me that has only come over me a few times before in my life, where I knew that what I was doing was tough, but it was the right thing and that it was above me. It wasn't me. I was doing this because God wanted me to do it. And I didn't understand it. I said, why did you ask me to do this? Is that why I've never been married? So I didn't have a family? Is that why I've always been successful? So that I would realize my reward before doing this task? Had I not carried my cross earlier and now God had prepared me to carry this cross? I believe so. And I'm carrying the cross willingly now. At first, I fought it. But it has to be done. And the world will write stories about how wrong I am and everything. And without a doubt, I wish it could be done a different way. But there is no way to make this right. 